Today we have uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Mani Vasagam from India. He's a child specialist as well as uh, has done his uh, MSc in nutrition. So Dr. Um, my first question is to you is uh, uh, what would you advise to uh, children between the age of uh, one and five as a nutritionist uh, and a child specialist? The main problem, the vulnerable age group for a child but it actually the two to five years, we call it as a preschool children. The problem arises because the mother, as a, even though as a learned mother or uneducated mother, they should start their weaning at the age of six months. Once they start weaning at six months, what is weaning? Weaning is nothing but introduction of the semi-solid and solid diet gradually. But once, if they don't start the weaning at six months, they start very early, there becomes a problem. The child doesn't adapt to the weaning food when it starts at the age of one or one and a half years. This, this is a common problem we come across in India. So when they start weaning very late, around one or one and a half years, the child acceptance becomes more difficult. So the inadequate intake has come, number one. Even though they take the adequate diet because of some illness, chronic diarrhea, after measles, they are prone for a malnutrition because of the inadequate absorption and diarrhea. So the child become malnourished at the earlier age group, if not all, but the few group of children below their poverty line they are living. So they are more prone for a malnutrition. But as now in India, we got all in especially in Tamil Nadu, we got more nutrition program, Balwadi Nutrition Program, Integrated Child Development Service Program, then later is IMNCI by the UNICEF. The incidence, and we doesn't see a gross kwashiakar or a malaspic child as I see 10 years back. But we see more of a undernutrition children. What do you mean by undernutrition children? The children whose weight is 60 to 80 percent of the expected weight without any edema or swelling. That we call undernutrition as per the welcome classification. So, so we, uh, doctor, um, sorry for... Uh, Another question which I'm going to add <coughs> yes. that uh, the solution that you are looking at is there are some general solution that you want to give uh, to these problems uh, as well as I would like to know in particular through DXN product how these children between the age of one and five uh, can be away from these problems. Yes, even though I am now late 65 in my age, before joining DXN, I joined DXN only two years ago with the help of Dr. Etirajan and Dr. Ranjan. But about 15 years back, we had done a study in a, in a ICDS center. ICDS is Integrated Child Development Services Scheme. Way back in Madurai, 15 years we can calculate, it's around, uh, in, around, 1989, around 1995. I, I don't remember the exact year. Under the leadership of Professor Edwin, we have given this spirulina, but we have got it from a raw product from the field there in our local village in Madurai. And we made it a powder and we put inside a capsule and weighed the capsule. It comes around 250 milligram per child. We went to the Anganwadi school where again a preschool children are given and we have selected uh, the malnourished children according to weight for eight and we have taken about 100 children. Prior to the study, we are in a baseline study on a hemoglobin, serum protein and serum iron. And with the help of the Anganwadi worker, we are given the capsules and the form of powder. The child is not able to take capsule. We give them powder, mix it in honey and give. So now uh, with our DXN uh, capsules and the candies, which is 250 milligram, as well as Rishi and Morenzi, so what would you recommend uh, to the young mothers? How would they... Uh, administer these uh, food supplement to their children? As a pediatrician, I recommend for the children, in this, especially in the age group of preschool children, if they are a normal, healthy child, one capsule a day or 300 milligram in an empty stomach, normally the, because of the therapeutic dose in a pediatric, we say 10 milligram of basic iron per kilogram body weight. So as for the age, if the child is about 10 kg, we give, sorry, 6 milligram per kg. If the child is 6, we have to give uh, 60 milligram per kg is iron. That is the therapeutic dose of iron what we require. Here the preventive medicine, we got a capsule in India based about 300 milligram. So we asked them to child below 5 years to put it in a honey and mix it up and give. 
as a spirulina capsule. Then in addition to that, we asked them a cocoa tea, which I got a very good flavor. I got my own experience, I have to grant, given to my granddaughter with a very sweet taste, their accessibility is more. And I prefer my patient to have a cocoa tea along with the milk and uh, each a uh, sachet, they can take uh, two or three times a day or depending upon the intake. That will be a good, uh, good substitute for increasing the protein level and protect the body from infection and for growing child it will give a better result. Thank you very much doctor. Thank you Thank for you. your time. Thank you for giving me opportunity.